Welcome to our St. John the Divine Noon Prayers for no Friday, November 28th. My name is Susan Vance Grosman. and I'm glad you could join us in this quiet time of prayer and reflection in the middle of our day. Before we begin our prayers, we acknowledge that we are on the unceded territory of the Lekwungen speaking peoples. O oh God, in Christ you give us hope for a new heaven and a new earth. Grant us the faith to give witness to your truth and love through our love of others. May be, we be one in hatred of all wrong, one in our love of all things sweet and fair, one with the joy that rises into song, and one in the power that makes your children free to follow truth and thus to follow you. Christ of compassion and caring, whose great sacrifice overcame the sting of death, Hear our prayer. Let us pray in the words of Father Richard Raw. Lord, we adore you, present in our inmost being and among us. Draw us inwardly by the greatness of your love, so that we may taste that peace which surpasses all understanding, and that, little by little, we might understand what it means to be lived in by God. Heal the wounds of a lifetime, body, soul, and spirit, as we wait lovingly upon your presence and healing action within us. Christ of compassion and caring, whose great sacrifice overcame the sting of death, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, our God, you are worthy of all praise. You are the God who never fails to keep your promises. We thank you that in Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, we see your love, justice, mercy, and victory. You are the God who lifts up those who are weighed down. Our desire is to praise you as long as we live. Christ of compassion and caring, whose great love overcame the sting of death, hear our prayer. Psalm 123. To you I lift up my eyes, to you enthroned in the heavens. As the eyes of servants look to the hand of their masters, and the eyes of a maid to the hands of her mistress. So our eyes look to the Lord our God until he show us his mercy. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy. For we have had more than enough of contempt too much of the scorn of the indolent rich and of the derision of the proud. Hear the good news of Jesus Christ. Our gospel today is written in the 25th chapter of the gospel according to St. Matthew, beginning at the 14th verse. Jesus said, for it is as if a man going on a journey summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. The one who had received the five talents went off at once and traded with them and made five more talents. In the same way, the one who had the two talents made two more talents. But the one who had received the one talent went off, dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. After the, a long time, the master returned and settled accounts with them. Then the one who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five more talents, saying, Master, you handed over to me five talents. See, I have made five more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. And the one with the two talents also came forward saying, Master, you handed over to me two talents. See, I have made two more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Then the one who had received the one talent also came forward saying, Master, I knew that you were a harsh man, 
reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you did not scatter seed. So I was afraid and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here, have what is yours. But his master replied, you wicked and lazy slave. You knew, did you, that I reap where I did not sow and gather where I did not scatter. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers and on my return, I would have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to the one with the 10 talents. For to all those who have more, more will be given and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. As for this worthless slave, throw him into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us join together in the prayer our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. I'll call it today. God, our Redeemer, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us, he may raise us to eternal joy through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you are strength to those who suffer and comfort to those who grieve. Let the prayers of your children who are in trouble rise to you. Let us pray for the sick and for those who suffer, for all in the nursing homes and hospices of our city and our province, and for those who are housebound. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Christ of compassion and caring, whose great sacrifice overcame the sting of death, hear our prayer. Let us pray for God's peace in our lives, remembering the comforting words of St. Teresa of Avila. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing upset you. Everything changes, but God alone is unchanging. With patience, all things are possible. Whoever has God lacks nothing. God alone is enough. Christ of compassion and caring, whose great sacrifice overcame the sting of death, hear our prayer. God of wind and water, stillness and storm, your spirit sweeps over the surface of the sea. Give us faith to seek you in times of trouble. Reach out to your hand to us when we are sinking, as you did to Peter on the Galilee, so that we who fear we are drowning may believe and worship you. Christ of compassion and caring, whose great sacrifice overcame the sting of death, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are ill or are suffering loss and long for your healing touch. Make the weak strong, the sick healthy, the broken whole, and confirm those who serve them as agents of your love. To all in distress, grant mercy, grant relief, grant refreshment. Give us strength of purpose and concern for others that we may create a community where your will may be done. God of compassion, you watch our ways and weave out, out of terrible happenings wonders of goodness and grace. 
surround those who have been shaken by tragedy and grief with a sense of your very present love and hold them in faith. May they find you and be comforted. Christ of compassion and caring, whose great sacrifice overcame the sting of death, hear our prayer. O oh, great love, thank you for living and loving in us and through us. May all that we do flow from our deep connection with you and our brothers and sisters. Help us to become a community that, while spread out in the safety of our homes, seek still to share each other's burdens and hear the cry of each other's hearts. Open our minds to the understanding that we are your hands and your heart upon this earth and that you ask us to protect those who cannot protect themselves. Lord, remind us each moment of each day to strive to do as you have always asked us to do, to love our neighbors as ourselves. Christ of compassion and caring, whose great sacrifice overcame the sting of death, hear our prayer. Lord, in those dark nights of the soul, when in our suffering we cry, cry with the poet, no worse, there is none, help us to be comforted by the words of the abbess, Julian of Norwich, who quietly says to us all, all shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. May we take comfort in her wisdom and in her faith, as she reminds us to see that I am God, see that I am in everything, see that I do everything, see that I have never stopped ordering my works, nor ever shall eternally, see that I lead everything on to the conclusion I ordained for it, before time began by the same power, wisdom, and love with which I made it. Therefore, how can anything be amiss? Christ of compassion and caring, whose great sacrifice overcame the sting of death, hear our prayer. Lord, in this time of uncertainty, isolation, and suffering, we sometimes forget to give thanks for your great and manifold blessings to us. Today, we remember in the words of poet Eugene Pickett to give joyful voice to our thanksgiving. For the expanding grandeur of creation, worlds known and unknown, galaxies beyond galaxies, filling us with awe and challenging our imaginations, we give thanks this day. For this fragile planet, Earth, its times and tides, its sunsets and seasons, we give thanks this day. For the joy of human life, its wonders and surprises, its hopes and achievements, we give thanks this day. For our human community, our common past and future hope, our oneness transcending all separation, our capacity to work for peace and justice in the midst of hostility and oppression. We give thanks this day for high hopes and noble causes, for faith without fanaticism, for understanding of views not shared. We give thanks this day for all who have labored and suffered for a fairer world, who have lived so that others might live in dignity and freedom. We give thanks this day for human liberty and sacred rights, for opportunities to change and grow, to affirm and choose. We give thanks this day. We pray that we may live not by our fears, but by our hopes, not by our words, but by our deeds. We give thanks this day. Christ and compassion and caring, whose great sacrifice overcame the sting of death, hear our prayer. Thank you for joining us today. I hope your weekend is full with the joy of friendship and love and the presence of God's peace 
in your heart.